Hello everyone, welcome to our 2023 start of the year franchise update. Uh, we just want to bring to you each month bits and pieces that are going on in the network and uh, encourage everyone um, and, and give some insights into, into things that are happening. And Excellent. I'm always pleased to uh, let you know about a new franchisee joining the group. So this month, Ange, we've got uh, a franchisee from the Barossa uh, just just out of Adelaide, so a very famous wine region, of course. And Derek, um, welcome. Yeah, a great opportunity to um, see the the brand um, grow there. So we've got um, that. That's that's now um, I think the second uh, Adelaide franchisee mm. consecutively. So that means you and I are going to South Australia this Yay. month, Angela. So <laughs> uh, we're really pleased to see that team in South Australia grow, and uh, excited about that. Um, what else is happening? We've got uh, a five-star review out of Western Australia. And yes. Yeah, we well always done, Morgan. Always love to celebrate those, and we're so pleased to see what's happening there in Western Australia. We've also got uh, our conference coming up this year, so we're just giving a, a real early reminder on that because I know everyone's got their new integrity diaries and are wondering. Uh, what uh, when to, to plug those dates in so what's the date? So that is available actually you can uh, book your tickets now through events frame it's already up and running we'll put another reminder into workplace for you for that so you don't have to contact me for that you can go straight to events uh, frame and book your two nights or one night and um, I mean, you can let us know as well, that's fine. But um, yes, you can do it all in there. Mm, via a work, previous workplace post. Yes. Yeah, okay. Good. Now, uh, other, other big things that are going on. The uh, Cooperative Fund has uh, had been the recipient of over $100,000 from Bunnings, which we're really appreciative of. And that unlocks a few things for us this year. So. It certainly unlocks uh, a very uh, exciting conference event, which means uh, the, the, uh, the, the rooms are paid for and the whole event's paid for. However, our franchisees just need to commit to the payment upfront and certainly off the back of your attendance at the event, you'll be reimbursed from the cooperative fund. Yeah. It also unlocks uh, a new print run of the magazine at some point this year. So that's that's always a significant spend for the cooperative fund. We'll also have presentation folders coming soon. They're an expensive item. They, mm. yeah, they're like three or four dollars each. So don't just hand them out willy nilly, but they're a beautiful presentation folder. Yeah, so that's just putting your, so your, your quotes and, and other things in to, to hand to a prospect hard copy if mm. you need to, so they'll be coming soon. So yeah, we're, we're always pleased to see um, big rebates coming in and you know things we can share as business owners, it's very pleasing. Uh, another thing I'm seeing a lot of conversation around is industry outlook. The, the industry is uh, softening and that's both good and bad. Um, good in, in terms of some of the heat coming out and a normalisation and I think on the whole for our group it's a good thing, not a bad thing. Mm. Certainly think I'm going to see a, um, a lot of profitability in, in the months and years ahead because of, of a normalisation. The other pleasing thing about it is it's getting some of our guys thinking and talking more about marketing. And look, I, I'm the person that says marketing is just something you do every week and every month regardless of what the industry is doing. But it's always pleasing to see um, some more conversations around marketing because I think you'll see the fruit of that over many years. And just on that, I, I just want to share a real life story of someone in our group, a franchisee, that had a very, very small business, but been very consistent in marketing. So in terms of their marketing spend versus their overall turnover, mm. the marketing spend was significant, like a big part of the overall turnover. And the business has just ticked along quite small for many years. And all of a sudden, a, a, a builder in town, another builder, comes to our franchisee and says, do you want to take over my entire work pipeline? So that business is going from say, a, a 500 to a million dollar turnover a year to a $5 million turnover in- Very exciting. In one hit. And, and we're here to support that. Yeah, and we're also here to say that that is the fruit of a marketing spend that's gone on for a couple of years prior. So that's often the way it works. You spend a dollar on marketing and you're always going to get five back at some point. So. Really pleased to see that happening and, 
and the, the conversations opening up around marketing. Uh, other highlights for the business, we've got a real focus on um, sort of returning to the market with the softening and sharpening up some prices. So I know Shane's putting a lot of effort into revisiting some pricing now. Suppliers are more open to those conversations, renegotiating sharper pricing. I was pleased to see the first announcement of a, a downward movement in price wow. uh, last month. So good. Can't say I've seen one of those recently, <laughs> but um, that, that's where we're going back to and, and obviously we want to continue our value to businesses in that regard. Mm. And, uh, and finally, uh, really pleased to see builders continuing to focus on their business systems. It does not matter one bit what the marketing's doing, what the market's doing. What matters is that your system's improving each month. So we want to continue to see builders say, here's, here's the next step for my business. What system can I master, can I implement that makes my future brighter in this industry? Very so good. look forward to supporting you on that. And thanks for joining us for this month's update.